Today we're going to take a look at Festool's new CT Cyclone. It's basically a pre-separator that fits perfectly on their CT Vax. It's got a price of $375, so it's a big question of whether or not it's worth it. There are really only four parts. You've got this stand that goes right on top of the hose garage. You could lock that in if you want to. This is a dust container, and you could use it with or without a bag. Obviously, a bag keeps everything nice and contained. And on top of that, we've got something that just looks like another sustainer, but it's basically the business end where all the uh, cyclonic action happens snap it in place and you're pretty much good to go there. And of course you need a hose. On the front we have two holes. Obviously one is gonna connect directly to the CT vac. So let's open this up and see what's doing. As you can see, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, one of the reasons why I purchased this was because I wanted to see how Festool engineered this to fit in such a compact area. So these components just pop right off. Uh, the lid is what really holds everything together on this. So you can see as uh, material comes in, it's gonna spin around. The heavier particles will just kind of drop to the bottom. Big shavings will drop. And lighter material, whatever happens to get through, is gonna go through this guy up into this tube and into the CT vac to be caught by the filters uh, in the vac itself. Now a few years ago, I actually did a dust separator shootout with a lot of these cyclones that were on the market. At the time, Clearview's CV Mini was sort of designed by restriction. Uh, I think they had some patent issues they had to work around and their cyclone had a very short top on it. And as a result, the efficiency was actually not very good. Uh, they since have come out with a design that has this longer thing. I, I don't know what they did, I don't know anything about their patents, but it seemed like they were able to get around it to design one that works just as well as the Dust Deputy. Um, so it was very clear that the structure really mattered in how well this stuff separated. So when I look at this and I see just a small amount of area compared to all of this and the cone, and there's no cone here, obviously, um, this starts to look a little bit more like a theme back to me and less like a traditional cyclone. Now we might be splitting hairs with terminology there, uh, but that's why I was very curious to see, you know, I've got a lot of faith in Festool engineers. They do amazing things. So I just wanted to see what does this thing actually do? When I did this review, uh, I never actually even looked at suction, which seems like a really, really big mistake, something missing from that review. But the reason was when I connected my vax to it, I didn't really notice a big drop in suction, so I only focused on separation efficiency. When I first fired this up, the first thing I noticed was a drop in suction, and that started me down the path of investigating. Now, before I jump down this pseudo-scientific rabbit hole, I do want to mention that the separation is working just fine. So I've used it for several days now, uh, cleaning up little odd jobs here and there, and I'm getting a lot of large particles in the bag and very little stuff in the CT vac itself. So it's working as intended. But let's talk about that suction. Now I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible here, but I think it's important to test a small hose and a larger diameter hose. We'll do both of those hoses with both of these cyclones and see what we get. The measurements I'm gonna take are using um, this anemometer. It's basically gonna test wind speed. Now how I'm actually getting those results, I'm just gonna make sure it's consistent with each measurement, and I'm not really worried about the absolute number. I'm not doing any calculations. I just wanna know how the number changes when I swap out the cyclones. Let's get to it.
Now, if you're primarily a user of the smaller hose, I'm not sure that the difference between the two types of cyclones is really significant. Uh, you lose 18% with the CT cyclone, and with the Clearview model, you lose 16. It's a 2% difference. And really, the test here is how well does it collect from the tools? A lot of times, these vacuums tend to be a little bit overpowered for the collection that we need from the various handheld tools. So I did a test with my router, taking a big chunk chamfer off all in one shot, and the collection was just as good as it's ever been. So that just tells me that there's enough room here to play that even if we lose a little suction, it still effectively collects from those small tools. Now, if you generally use the larger hose, you're gonna see a bigger difference here, and I think it's substantial, a 36% drop on the CT Cyclone and only a 14% drop on the CV Mini. So that is something to be worried about. Uh, for me, I tend to use the bigger hose two places. I'll actually use a larger hose at the miter saw, which is a tough place to collect dust anyway, and I also use it when I do shop cleanup. So when I'm cleaning up the shop, I typically have a lot more than just small pieces of dust, right? I've got wood shavings, I even have chunks of wood, sometimes little pieces of metal or a, a screw that just fell on the floor. So it is important that I have as much suction as I can if I'm gonna use it for that application. For me, it's a big deal. Now, if you've studied up on dust collection, you probably already know that whenever you take a, a hard 90 degree turn, airflow can suffer, right? So I think a lot of people were watching this saying, you know, this 90 degree, especially 90 degree on both ends, the one that comes with the CT Cyclone, is probably killing some of the airflow. So when I swapped that out, I really expected to see a pretty big improvement, and we didn't, right? The small hose, we saw no change whatsoever. And on a large hose, I only saw a 2% improvement. I was really surprised by that. So uh, there's really nothing wrong with this 90 degree hose. So take a look at the numbers, draw your own conclusions, but before you plop down 375 bucks, you should definitely know what you're getting into and what you're gonna get for your money. If you're looking for something that incorporates well into a Festool system, and that's always the hook with Festool, right? Uh, you might be able to get away with a different uh, brand or something like that, but things integrate so well with the Festool system that people who buy Festool tend to always stay in the family just because things work better together. In this case, you know, this is really no exception. You could put sustainers on top of it, you could put them below, and this just fits nicely into the stack. So for some people, it may be, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. Um, you know, if you tried to get like the CV Mini or the Dust Deputy on this thing, it would be weird. It's very tall. It's, you'd have to cobble something together to keep it along with the vac as a single unit. Now, Oneida does actually have a sustainer style dust deputy that works with this. I don't have it, I'm not able to test it, so I can't say anything about it, but it might be worth looking into if you are a large hose user and you wanna get better, uh, you know, or let's say less of a suction loss, that might be an option to explore, but I can't comment on that at all. Uh, so ultimately, the choice is yours. Hopefully you found this useful, and uh, I can't wait for people to tell me how bad my testing procedure was, <laughs> which seems to always happen. Thanks for watching.